Hello, in this video I'm about to explain how to create uh, paths and, uh, and uh, trajectory objects that we can use in our applications, for instance to follow lines or to perform a kinematic control to follow that path or that trajectory with our robot, okay? So, uh, this is uh, in, Coppelia, in Coppelia scene software we have a, a path object this can be uh, added here if we click on add menu we select path and usually I usually select the segment type path okay so this is the path object let's take a closer look okay and this path object uh, that we have created here indeed has two points one at the beginning and, and the other one at the end indeed the, the, these are called control points that define our path and it also has these are the blue ones okay if you can see here there's a blue box hidden by this red dot here, okay? And there's also a red dot that it's a point that we can move along this path or this trajectory with a given speed and we have um, a specific uh, uh, functions in the Copelesim API to access to some of the properties like the position and the orientation of this point in the path, okay? And uh, this can be used for instance to follow up trajectory so we can try to pursue with the robot this, uh, this point as a dog uh, trying to uh, follow or chasing something, okay? So, um, let's, uh, let's modify the aspect of the path. The idea is that we can uh, generate an aspect or a shape that will actually look like a line painted on the, on the, on the floor that we can follow, okay? Uh, for instance, in this case, um, what we have to do is uh, double click on the icon so we get to the, uh, we access to the properties of the object and in particular we are interested in, uh, in the shaping, path shaping dialog, okay, here. So we go there and we enable the path shaping, okay. So, uh, here we select the type of uh, path we want. I usually select the horizontal segment, okay and I set the size to 5, okay? Uh, as you can see here this is not actually horizontal, it's rather vertical but this is because the path is not properly oriented and that could be uh, modified later on, okay? We will we'll see how to do it, okay? And also we can uh, modify the color of the path if we click on adjust color and the ambient diffuse component so we can modify the aspect of the path, let's say, with a black line, okay? So we accept, we close, and we close, we're done here, okay? So now we have a path, but as I said, this is just simply a straight line, so we would like to have actually a very flexible path that we would like to follow. So for that we need to modify it or to include more control points in our path, okay? So we can do that by accessing here to this option here we have, or to this icon here, it's the toggle path edit mode. So we have the, we need uh, the, the path uh, being selected and then we click here. And then we enter into uh, a mode uh, in which we can edit, um, in this case, the path. So as you can see here, these are the control points of the path. As I said before, we have two of them, one here and the other one here, okay? So in order to create more control points, we just simply need to uh, do the combination of keys like Ctrl C, Ctrl V and then we have another point here and then we can move it. If we go here to the object shift uh, dialog with the point selected then we can move it, okay? And then we can uh, just basically create more so it's Ctrl C, Ctrl V and then we have another one and then we can move it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, another one, and we can move it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, another one, let's say that one here, okay? And one important thing about the path is that, as you can see, the control points, uh, the first one, which is that one here, and the last one, which is that one there, the path always intersects uh, these points, so it passes through these points. The rest of the points the path will be approximated. This is because it's using a Bezier curve and because of the properties of Bezier curve, these control points will be 
approximated the ones which are in the middle. Okay, so that's why the path actually it's doing this curve here and this is this curve here and so on. Okay, and uh, okay, so let's we're done with uh, generating control points and now we would like to set some path properties. In particular, I like to select the path flat option, so we make sure the path is flat. And also, I like to uh, click on the keep x up. This is because, what I said before, the path is not uh, properly uh, oriented. So, as you can see here, by default, uh, the path includes some reference here that will give us uh, how the path is internally oriented. Okay, this is something uh, relevant for the point uh, that it's about to move uh, on the path, and this orientation here modifies the aspect in the end of the path. So I suggest to select the keep x up. So as you can see now, the x coordinate inside the path is always up. Okay, so the, the control points are always pointing with the x up, and that's because uh, I suggest to use that because uh, all of you will have exactly the same orientation. Okay, so this is an assumption, but you can do whatever. Okay, and the last option we can do, or the, the, the last property we can uh, we, we can check is this path is closed. So if we select it, the first and the last point will be no longer interpolated and will be approximated and the path will be closed like that. Okay, so this is uh, the configuration that I suggest you to use in order to create your own paths. Okay, so let's accept it and now let's see what happens. Now we have a path, you, ha you have the control points, but the path is not properly rendered. Okay, this is something which was not uh, the, the software did not behave uh, like that in previous version, version so uh, there's a simple solution. We just simply need to save it and open it again. Okay, so it's like save, like test, and then we close this scene and we open it again. And here we have our path properly rendered. Okay, okay, this shouldn't happen, but yeah, you know, it's an easy workaround. Okay. Okay, so in this video I explain uh, how to uh, create and work with paths. Thank you very much.